Welcome everybody to the film room. I'm Brian Johannes and on this episode I'm going to take a look at a small school offensive tackle in northern Iowa's Spencer Brown. If you're not familiar with what I do in these I'm going to go ahead and look at the tape and show you different plays and clips to kind of highlight and illustrate the type of prospect that Spencer Brown is and, and where he could translate and what his potential and where he might go in the 2021 NFL Draft. So uh, let's not waste any more time. Let's get into the tape. Now, one of the things that stands out about Spencer Brown is not only is he a massive human being, uh, but he's got some pretty impressive strength. He moves well. On this play here against North Dakota State, he's lined up at the right tackle, and he's going to take this defensive end, and he's going to engage with him, and move him down the field and just buries him into the ground. We see that again. He's able just to take him, engage with him, turn him enough, and just plant him square into the ground. Now Spencer Brown also moves very well for his size. He's got the ability to not only manhandle and drive defenders to the ground, but he can also work his way to the second level. In this clip, he's going to engage with that defensive end you know, scrape off of him once the tight end gets engaged and then get to the second level to take on that blocker. Just showing that good footwork, that movement to be able to get to the second level in the run game. Now we know the NFL is a passing league, so we got to see how does he do in pass protection. And at, at his size, is he able to get good depth? And in this play here, this is a good example of, of the depth and the athletic ability to get that depth um, in, in his in his drops. So here he's able to get, look at the depth that he's able to get. Yes, uh, I mean, he's practically even right now with the quarterback. And he's able to get that effort, effortlessly. And he's able to just slide out, engage with that defensive end. Now, if we see it from this angle, once again, just able to slide out, engage. He does get pushed back a little bit, but he, once again, he shows that ability to get that depth. Another example of him in, in getting his depth we have here. Just once again, able to just quickly draw and move out. Just cut off that defensive end. He's able to do this effortlessly. I mean, he doesn't look like it takes much effort. You don't see him having to really kick back. He's able to just slide out and cut off those defensive ends on the edge. So not only do you need good depth, you need the ability to slide laterally because defensive ends, you know, are going to make their moves and you got to be able to move laterally with them. And in this case, we're going to see Spencer Brown just able to just once again engage and just slide with the defensive end. And it's just so smooth, so effortless. I keep using the word effortless because he just makes it look that way. Then here's another example. Hey, he, he checks to the inside. Is this guy coming? Nope, he's not coming. And then able to just slide out and cut off that defensive end so the quarterback can get the pass off. Not flashy, not, wow, I can't believe this, but just shows that quick reaction and just the ability to just effortlessly slide out. Hey, one more example of his, his lateral agility, and I, I like right here, I mean, look at him in his stance. He looks like a natural knee bender, a guy that's got good flexibility. You know, he's not sitting up high in a stance. He's able to just kind of come out quick, and this defensive end had no shot. As soon as that ball was snapped, he was out there, edge was completely cut off, and he was in a position to even react inside if that defensive end would have gone inside. Now what I like about this play is I've shown his athleticism. I've shown his ability to get depth. I've shown his ability to slide laterally. But what about locking down defenders? In this clip, that's what he does. He's able to engage with this defensive end, get his hands on him, and just shut him down. He's got his hands in the best position. Right? The defensive end is, is stopped. And he's able to do that by getting his hands in quick. He's got those long arms, get him into the chest, get a hold of him, and he's locked down. And then this last clip, what I wanna show you is just his awareness, his ability to see what's going on in front of him. And they're gonna run, this, this linebacker's gonna blitz, the defensive end's gonna show off the edge and drop back very well. We could see a, an offensive tackle, you know, cut, get out wide to take care of the defensive end. And then when he drops, this guy just flies in free. But as we see in this play, Spencer Brown goes out, sees that he, he can, you know, sees that he's dropping back, sees this guy coming, 
and he's able to quickly react and stop that, that linebacker from getting in. And it just shows good awareness. It shows good uh, reaction skills to, to cut him off there. Now, Spencer Brown is an interesting prospect. As I've said, he's six foot eight, 314 pounds. He's athletic. He shows glimpses of power and strength. But he's a bit raw. And I think a thing that we forget is this was 2019 tape. He didn't play at all in 2020 because FCS is playing right now. And so here's a guy that's raw, could have definitely used another year of games, but wasn't able to get it because of the pandemic. And so he doesn't play, but he goes to the Senior Bowl, shows that he belongs, didn't dominate at the Senior Bowl, but like I said, one of the things I look for out of small school prospects is when they get to stuff like the Combine, or in this case, the Senior Bowl, do they sh- do they look the part? Do they look like they belong? And Spencer Brown, even though he had some issues there, looked like he belonged with some of the you know top Power Five and, and the, that type of talent. And so I think, in my opinion, Spencer Brown's going to be a lock day two pick because of his size because of his athletic traits, because of his potential, he's going to get drafted in either the second or third round. And I honestly think he's probably a late second round pick. Some team's going to fall in love with his traits, fall in love with his size, and they're going to see a guy that's still developing that you can plug in at left or potentially right tackle. And I think not only does he have starting traits, I think he can easily develop into a quality starting offensive tackle in the NFL. All right, that's going to go ahead and wrap it up for this Spencer Brown film room session. Uh, the best way to get these film rooms or any of my other videos on YouTube is to subscribe. So don't not only do you need to hit that subscribe button, but hit the notification bell so you get you always know when my new videos come out. Uh, make sure you're also following me on social media: Draft underscore Brian, uh, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, even. That's the best way to get, you know, other information, articles that I might be writing. So make sure you're following me on social media. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And until next time.